Ooh, what's up, guys? Of course, welcome to our Wi Fi battle with George Trull, of course, the Death Scarrender. And we're going again up against a guy named Luca Yasha. And uh, he is actually a Poxy Robin on his own, so make sure to check him out. I'm going to leave his channel down below. And I, we had him spelled up over a month ago, but my capture card did break, and uh, I wasn't able to record this. This was the battle I was going to record when it broke down. So his side of the spell is already up for like a month ago. So make sure to check that out if anything. And also follow this guy on YouTube or on Twitter and of course YouTube if you want to challenge him yourself. He's actually specializing in the lower tiers but does play the higher tiers. So anyway, look at this team here. He has a really fat team. Uh, he has Cradley, Armaldo, Superior, Gore Guys, Dose Pass and Lurkolo. And um, yeah, I definitely saw like a rain base here and not a complete rain team but a lot of bulk to at least pull that off and I myself has no hazards but I or not weather but I have the only hazard I have is with Ariados and Stickweb then after that we got Sangus, Rampardos, Malamar, Lantern and uh, Miss Majors so Lantern is gonna be a major player this battle and even Malamar to some extent because Malamar actually beats a lot of these guys one on one so he's gonna be very important but besides that, I mean, if things doesn't work, then Miss Magus and Sagos should be able to uh, withstand the pressure and retaliate. I just need a web up. That's the only thing I really need. So, um, yeah. With all these in guys' mind. Or, <laughs> with all these in mind, guys. Ah, let's go. So, from the get-go, I knew that Malmar could kind of work, at least great as a lead here. I just heard something early on. So, that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring Sarasul. And he's gonna start with his Ludicolo, and uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, I am a Soul Vested, so I don't really mind the damage. And I'm gonna go directly for a knockoff, taking off his Stamp Rock, which of course shows me that obviously <laughs> he's gonna make it rain. And uh, I didn't see any recovery, so it, it's definitely Swift Swim, and I felt that, you oh, know, I don't really wanna take a Scald. So I'm just gonna go to Realm, which is Lantern, which should be able to take this kind of damage, but he's gonna swim the Theater Dance. And um, not gonna lie, that that's annoying. That's real annoying. So I decided to switch out. I was pretty much on fence with another shit, but I decided to do so in case he went for, of course, a Giga Dream because I can actually co in, come in with my Ariados and uh, do it and, or take a lot of resisted hits since it's four times resisted. And then after that, really just hope to be able to take a Scald and to go for Stick Webs and just go for Sect. Scouting out is gonna go for Scald plus. I really need just to rain out of the way. But he's gonna go to Fear Dance, and I mean, that's fine. I'm back to full, and I felt really mean because I'm basically slowing the game down by doing so. But anyway, I do take the skull. I don't take it well. I don't take it well at all, to be honest. And he's gonna get this. I'm gonna get, get my stick wave up, which is gonna be important because rain will stop eventually. And um, I was debating whether I was faster, uh, but I wasn't. And my Ariara is gonna go down. And that really sucks. Uh, <laughs> it actually do, because I was thinking, you know, I could go for a hit here, probably take it out, probably, but I'm not faster. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to Seratul, and I can build myself up with superpower, and there shouldn't be any real worries with me doing so, but it's gonna set up an another rain, really, and that's bad. That's bad, because I'm not sure I can outspeed our Armaldo. Um, he's gonna go for Dan just to... Um, get me confused and really really just stop me dead on track but Saratul is not falling for such easy tricks and it's gonna just whack him and whack him real good uh, so anyway while this battle was going on I was calculating that if his Armaldo is not fully speed uh, it actually if it's just 248 in speed it should not be able to, uh, to outspeed me so I was really hoping that he was just going to try to outspeed the necessary for a base but no, he's, he's, he's fully, and that that's a one shot, sadly, I I was really like, oh no, shit, 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 and he has the life orb too, which means it gets even worse, and uh, he's gonna withdraw normal though, of course, not feeling that, you know, he's in the best positions, and he's gonna bring the Cradley, which has the Storm Drain, of course, and I knew that that's a possibility, they could bring that, so I decided to go for a Volt Switch instead, I do believe our Moldo can pack EQ, but an Earthquake would not have killed the Lancer if that was the case. So I get a major momentum here, of course, I get to get or go to my Hulk. 
and um, Hulk, of course, as always, is not really joking around. With that Toxic Ore boost, he is just going to wreck, as always, and with the Stick Wave up, there's not a whole lot stopping him, and I knew that going in here. So anyway, he's gonna go back to his Armaldo, and I do believe I went for a knockoff here. Um, close combat would have been a good choice too, but knockoff did just about enough, really. And I'm gonna knock off the, right, the orb, and after this, I was thinking that, you know, his only attack move he has that could hurt me is Aqua Jet. And I still need to have speed because I don't want to switch out and risking him going for a rapid spin. So that's the play I had to make, though I did whittle myself down a lot by doing so. But uh, at least the web is here to stay, so at least it makes sure that I am the fastest person on the field if that comes down to that. But as you guys see, the Toxic is packing up, and uh, he's gonna bring his Sviper. And I was actually feeling that, you know, this thing could maybe be sashed. So I decided, that, yeah, I kinda need to go, kinda need to um, find some new footing. So I decided to go into Realm, and he's gonna go for Sludge Bomb, and that does a good chunk. I mean, a lot of damage. I mean, I forgot this Swiper has 100 base in both Special Attack and Attack, so it's actually hurt a whole lot even though it actually isn't that fast, but that is what he's gonna show me with uh, me actually not outspeeding. He is Scarfed. He is a Scarfed Swiper, and that is very, very, very intimidating. Uh, so I didn't really want to stay in here because obviously I lose a lot of damage staying in. So I'm gonna go to Nebula, which of course naturally resists that because now I realize his Scarfed and locked into that. So I can just bring my Miss Magius, and that still does a lot. I mean, I'm I have one or five in special defense. I believe I'm not invested, but still, I should be able to take that, and I did not take that as well as I hoped for. And um, I went for a shadow ball, just trying to take it out. So when the no pass come in here, I was like, "Oh shit, this thing can take that for days." And of course, it could pack the T wave, and if it does so, then shit, really, it's it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going back to Realm because I feel like I can least stop him and luckily he went for a Volt Switch instead and I have the Volt Absorb because like I said I predicted the T-Wave and I felt it was a good opportunity to get some HP back and um, really now I did not want to risk the T-Wave on my Sangus or my Miss Mages. there was just no way I could pull that off so I'm not gonna go for a Skull this time either because like I said he has a Cradley, Cradley has Storm Drain there it's it's, it's not that it's an obvious play, it is that I can't do anything else but that, I can't. I must avoid that, going for Volt Switches, that's the only thing I really can do. Uh, so this Kraley is gonna be so annoying to deal with, because Kraley is so bulky, has access to recovery, its typing makes it sure that it doesn't take a whole lot of damage. I just hate this poke so much, it's great, I hate it, <laughs> the combination is there. So anyway, Sangu's gonna come in here, and I went for a knockoff. I was predicting Gore Guys, but at the same time, had it stayed in with the Kraley, he getting a knockoff would hurt so much, so it would have been worth it. But it goes for Gore Guys, like I said, and um, yeah. Gore Guys is actually able to take a knockoff. Uh, I did not see that one coming, but then again, you know, it's unstabbed and all, so I guess that's fine. But uh, due to the prior damage there, I'm actually forced to stay in to take him out, risking actually further more damage on my Sangus. And like I said, Sangu is probably the only thing that can actually kill the Cradley. It's the only thing that really can kill the Sangu or the, his, his Viper, and probably probably best too. So he has the opportunity to do so, but the will down damage he gets from uh, the situation is just too much. And yeah, like I said, I needed Sangus for Cradley. Uh, that was probably the only Pokemon I could actually beat it one on one. So the Swiper has to get the momentum, he has to get something to kill. So I decided to go to Nebula, hoping it doesn't go for a Dark Pulse. Luckily for me, it goes for the um, Giga Drain, which is um, still doing a lot. Like, that is a lot of damage. <laughs> that is a lot of damage. So yeah, I went for a nasty blood here, I believe, and uh, predicting the Cradley, hoping to do enough damage. And I'm actually going to um, speed up this thing times 4 because, um, yeah, I don't do 50% and uh, we're basically going back and forth and doing damage and there's really nothing else happening. I do eventually here get this special defense drop, which means able to switch out to Nose Pass. And Nose Pass is not taking two of those. So it's going to go down and uh, then Krill is going to come back in. 
and uh, I actually get, if I remember correctly, I do get the special defense drop again, and he'll go for Geek Rain, finish me off, and uh, yeah, that that's cool and all, that's awesome. So anyway, I only have Sangus left and Lantern, and I actually yeah, have yet to show him that my Lantern actually packed the Ice Beam, and I was really feeling that this is my chance to show him that, because I don't want to risk, like I said, more damage on the Sangus. I could risk the Lantern, uh, I cannot risk um, <laughs> I cannot risk the Sangus, because had I bring in the Sangus and went for close combat, so we'll just go to his uh, Sviper and resist that and actually survive it, and the Residual damage from Toxic would kill me next turn after I kill the Sviper, which meant the Cradley would have gone against Lantern, and he would want to win that matchup. So I decided to go for Lantern, really just uh, taunting him to go for a Heat Rain instead of Recover, doing enough damage with Ice Beam to actually take out the Cradley, and that basically meant that I won this game, because his Sviper, while he does pack the Heat Rain, he will not be able to outspeed his Sangus, which was, of course, super important, because this Sviper has just been... Such a massive threat because it was Garfed. Even with the stick web up, it has outspeed so many Pokemons. And of course, Lantern, which I took for granted would outspeed it, has actually been the very, very reason it's now back to full health. And the Skull does, you know, roughly 50%, but it's not gonna matter because, like I said, I can't outspeed it. But luckily, Sangus can. So, Luka Yasha, thank you so much for this battle, really. I thought it was a blast. It was really fun going against a player that actually wanted to try something different, and I feel that that came through. And of course, it wasn't a complete slaughter with Malamar getting killed by the x -Sister. Like I said, had you not been fully invested in the speed, it would not have been very likely that you won that battle, <laughs> or would have come back from that battle, because it was really nothing in your team could stop a Malamar. So, I really thought it was a fun game, and it came down pretty darn close. It's actually a one of victory in my favor, which I thought I would avoid, but no! It came down pretty darn close. Great game, man. So yeah, I don't have you know, a lot of after this battle. Like I said, it came down pretty close and I was not expecting it to do so, but my opponent kept me well off guard with his defenses and I struggled to find enough momentum to you know, finish the game off because I, I couldn't. He made sure I couldn't do that and that was a very, very impressive display, really. So make sure, like I said, guys, to check him out and I'll make sure to do more uploads this week. And we're going to stream Friday and Saturday for the guys who stayed, <laughs> stayed long enough to actually hear that. So thank you guys for watching. It's been a blast, really, uh, coming back and I have the capture card back and, you know, doing this for you guys. I really, really appreciate it. And if you want to battle me, make sure to actually check me out on Twitter. Uh, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible because I need more battle stop loads. So if you feel that you are up for, up for a battle, check me out, guys, and I'll get back to you. So anyway, I want to thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye. Oh, and all. Sky's limits and all. Huh. Bye.